Hi everyone, my name is Erin Weimert and this practice is for anyone who is just waking up and feeling tight um, and needs a little bit of time to get into their practice. And for me, practicing in the morning is really tough because my muscles are tight, my joints are stiff, um, and I need to coax my body open uh, a little longer than normal. So when you're ready, meet me on your backs. And we're gonna start in a constructive rest. So we'll place our feet wide to the outer edges of the mat and just simply knock our knees into center. And you can rest your hand on your belly, you can rest your hand next to you, whatever feels good. And if you're particularly tired right now, I wanna encourage you to actually keep your eyes open and just find um, a still spot on the ceiling to bring your gaze to. And as you begin to notice the fact that you're breathing, just allow yourself to drop into your immediate experience of right now. And begin to breathe in and out of the nose, finding your ujjayi pranayam. And as you breathe in and out of the nose, begin to tone your throat so the breath becomes audible, something like this. As you continue to breathe like this, find a four count inhale and a four count exhale. It's beginning to give the mind something to focus on. Continue to allow stress and tension to release out of the body as you feel yourself drop completely into the back, the back of the body, down into the earth. And as you continue to breathe with your ujjayi pranayam, see if you can increase your inhale breath to five counts. Five counts in and four counts out. As we gradually find a longer inhalation, we're really beginning to wake the body up from the inside out. Now, if you feel good with five counts in, you might increase it to six. If that's too much, stick with four or five. And then four counts out. And find just another two or three rounds like this. Then finish your round of breath and begin to breathe normally and naturally. And just notice the shift that is occurring already. Gently begin to draw your knees into your chest and just start to rock side to side. And you might even bring the knees wide into the shoulders. And then from here, Extend your left leg down to the ground. Draw your right knee in towards your right armpit. You might even flex your foot and just give the knee a good squeeze and feel that nice pinch through the right hip flexors. On your next exhale, guide your knee over to the left with the help of your left hand and you might shimmy your hips over towards the right a little bit. You can bring your right arm out to a cactus or a T-shape. And just allow your spine to unwind. Let's find one more deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, untwist. Give your right knee another squeeze. And let's come into a figure four stretch. Bring your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Bring your right arm in between the legs and interlace your fingers on the left hamstrings. And as you pull your left thigh in, Simultaneously, use your right elbow to open your right thigh away from you. So you're pulling the left leg in and you're pushing the right leg away. Feel the collarbones expand. If it feels okay, let your head come down. And breathe into that space right where your right femur bone, your thigh bone connects into the hip socket. 
Let's find one more breath in and out. And as you exhale, slowly release. Send your left leg all the way down and reach your right leg up towards the sky. And from here, lift your head up. Either grab onto your hamstrings or your calf or your ankle. And just try the best you can to bring your forehead into the direction of the knee. And you can try pointing and flexing your right foot, just getting into the calf and the top of the ankle. And then come back to a full flex in your right foot and find one more inhale. See if you can draw in a little bit closer. And as you exhale, release knees to chest, rock side to side. And then from here, extend your right leg down. Draw your left knee in towards the left shoulder. Flex your foot. Give the knee a good squeeze. You might even turn on your left glute so you can root your thigh even deeper. And then on your next exhale, use your right hand to guide your left knee across the body. Allow the left hip to lift and roll on top of the right. And you can bring your left arm to a cactus or a T-shape. And first thing in the morning, your shoulders might be tight. You don't have to force your left shoulder down to the ground. If it's hovering and you don't experience any pain, that's fine. Let's find one more breath in. Fill up through the low belly. And as you exhale, untwist. Give your left knee another squeeze. And then bring your left ankle on top of the right thigh for a figure four stretch. Lift your right foot up and then bring your left arm in between the legs, interlace your fingers on the right hamstrings. And as you pull your right leg in, use your left elbow to open your left knee away. See if you can bring both of your feet to a flex so the leg, lower portions of your leg bones are in the same plane. And then see if you can widen the collarbones, bring the shoulder blades down. Let's find an inhale breath here. And as you exhale, release. Send your right leg long. Extend your left leg to the sky. And either grab your hamstrings or your calf or your ankle. Draw the forehead towards the knee. Again, you can point and flex your left foot a little bit. And then come back to a full flex in your foot. Bring the forehead a little closer. One more breath. And as you exhale, release your knees into your chest and rock side to side. And then when you're ready, grab the backs of your legs, come up to a tabletop position. Bring your hands just a little bit wider than shoulder width. Spread your fingers as wide as you can get them and find your knees underneath your hips. Find an exhale breath to drop your ribs all the way down towards the ground. And as you inhale, begin to lift the chest to the chin and lengthen all four sides of your neck. On an exhale, begin to press through your palms, dome the upper back, draw the chin in, curl the tail under. And then inhale when you're ready, stretch to the front of the body, shoulder blades down, collarbones up. And then exhale, tuck and round. You can even pull away from the palms a little if that feels okay. And one more time, slow breath in. And easy breath out. Now from here, start to find any sort of movement that um, feels good. So you can stir the hips a little bit. You can find some barrel rolls in the shoulders. Just start to explore movement that feels good, that feels invigorating for the tissues of your spine, side bodies, hips, neck. Let's sort of get any last minute kinks out here that you might not be able to access through cat cow. And then let's come back to neutral spine. And before we get started, we're gonna stretch out the wrist just a little bit. Either turn your fingertips out towards the sides or down towards your knees. It's tempting to lock out the elbows here, so see if you can soften the elbows. And then feel free to lean back a little bit especially if you're at a desk during the day. Um, the wrists, the fingers, the forearms can uh, carry a lot of tension. And then coming to the tops of the hands, you might turn your fingertips 
in, or you can turn them down if you want some more sensation. And then you might even make little fists with your hands and just release some of the tension and the tendons of the forearms. And then let that go. Bring your knees to touch. Tuck your toes under and either just press your hips back towards your heels or you can walk all the way up, toes pose. And just find a couple slow breaths here. Allow your shoulders to relax. You might even do a couple shoulder rolls. You can roll the head out side to side. And then place your fingertips down, lift your knees up and see if you can round. You can hug your biceps into your outer thighs. You can drop the head. And just feel the back of your body get a nice stretch here. And find a breath in. As you exhale, begin to lift your hips up. Bring your feet hip width or wider. And then just weave your fingertips in between the elbow creases and sway a little side to side. You can shake your head out. You can bob the torso around. You can become still. Maybe stillness feels good. Let's feel that there's a complete lack of effort in the upper half of your body. And then release your hands down towards the ground. And just know that you have a lot of time here. Find a very slow roll up. So slower than you might be comfortable with. Just rising up one inch at a time. Feel that even though your feet are flat, you're pushing a lot through your heels. You're going to feel the glutes and the hamstrings turn on. Slow, slow roll up. And as you arrive, roll the shoulders out. As you inhale, sweep the arms wide, back out and up, find a big breath in. And then as you exhale, move the hands through the center of the body, press the palms down, and then inhale again, reach the arms wide. And exhale, move the hands down through the center of the body. Press your palms down one more time, inhale, just slowly increasing range of motion. Exhale, hands through center and pause. And then inhale your fingertips up through the middle of the body and exhale your arms wide back out and then hands meet at the heart. And then just twice more like that. Inhale up. And exhale. Again, no rush at all. We want this practice to be about feeling good, about just waking up the body slowly. Let's go ahead, inhale the fingertips up. And maybe soft bend in your knees as you fold down towards the ground. And as you inhale, extend your chest halfway. Your gaze is down, so the back of the neck is long. And then as you exhale, release. Let's walk forward into a downward facing dog. So first down dog with a class. If you need to check the distance between your hands and your feet, you might come forward to a high plank position. This is usually a good point of reference. Hands, again, just a little bit wider than shoulder width. Lift the hips up and back. Now, if your hamstrings are cranky right now, bend your knees and then see if you can get longer through your spine. <clears throat> see if you can let the length of your spine take priority over the length of your legs. And then see if you can widen your shoulder blades away from each other. So instead of squeezing them in and having the elbow spin out to the sides, widen them away and feel your elbows hug in. Unlock the elbows. Draw the top of your ribs in. So you'll feel the low belly tone. And if you haven't at this point, see if you can relax the head. Just let your ears fall in line with the arms. If at this point you're ready, you can work towards extending your legs. And just find a couple breaths here, pressing equally through your palms, pressing out through your thighs. Find one more breath in and out. 
Go ahead, bring your left foot to the center of the mat and reach your right leg up, three-legged dog. Feel that your left hip is drawing back and you're using your right glute to lift the right leg up. And then bend your right knee and open your right knee up to the sky. Find a slow breath in. See if you can drop your left heel a little closer to the ground. And exhale, knee to nose, shift forward, two straight arms, push into the palms, and then fully extend your right leg, three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, step lightly through to your lunge and drop the back knee. So at this point, if you're feeling really tight, you can grab blocks here. If you don't have blocks, you can use water bottles or books. And make sure your right heel feels grounded. So if it feels like it's about to lift up, just scoot it forward more. And as you let the weight of your hips sink down and forward, breathe into the front of your left hip. And just find a breath in here. And stay for the exhale. Go ahead, tuck your left toes, lift your back knee up, and then step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Your feet are hip width, meaning heels underneath your hips. And as you inhale, find a halfway lift. You can gaze down. Exhale, fold. You might grab your calves and fold a little deeper. Inhale all the way up to standing. Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute. Reach your arms to the sky. Exhale your arms wide. Hands meet at the heart. Good. From here, close your eyes and just connect to how you want to feel at the end of this practice. I'm just setting an intention for yourself. If it is morning time, consider how you want to feel for your, the rest of your day. What sort of state of mind would you like to step into? And what would you like to embody? Maybe confidence, maybe a sense of being grounded and peaceful. Any sort of word that comes to mind for how you'd like to feel. And then allow yourself to feel that in your whole body. Find another breath in. And as you exhale, release the arms, open your eyes, stretch out and up, inhale. Exhale the arms wide, dive down to the ground. If you need to bend your knees, that's totally fine. And then inhale, find a halfway lift and step your right foot back to a lunge, big step, drop your right knee down. Again, if you need blocks, grab those. You know you need blocks if it feels like the ground is really far and you're hunching and rounding, especially because it's first thing in the morning. We want to think about opening and spreading and lifting and lengthening the chest. Think about creating like your power posture here, creating this, um, this sort of body language that um, emits a sense of confidence and is ready to take on the day. Find another breath in here. And as you exhale, go ahead, release your blocks if you have them, and step back into a plank. For this first round, we're going to drop the knees to the earth. Notice if your ribs are falling down to the ground, draw your pubic bone up towards the navel. Bring your chin off of the chest, shift forward. Your elbows hug the side body. They graze the ribs as you lower down towards the ground. Tops of the feet are flat. Now, if your back is tight, move your hands forward so that they're underneath your shoulders. You don't have to hand, have the hands way far back there. Find a gentle exhale to press your pubic bone down, lengthen the low back. And as you inhale, come up to cobra. It might not be very high, that's okay. Hug your biceps in. Draw your ribs in just like you would in down dog without losing those things. Bring your shoulder blades down, lift your collarbones up. And then exhale, lengthen your sternum forward to lower. Let's do twice more like that. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, slowly lengthen to lower. One more time. Inhale, maybe come up a little higher. Again, soft bend through the elbows. And exhale, lower back down. From here, bring your right arm out towards the right so it's in a T shape. This is one of my favorite stretches to open up the shoulder. It feels so good first thing in the morning. My wrist is in line with my shoulder, and I'll bring my right ear to the mat and roll to the right. Some of you might just bend your knees and stack them, or you can place your left foot behind you and open the left knee and thigh back. Let's see if we can relax the right side, upper back. 
and find a big breath in and exhale lower down to the ground. And then bring your left arm out, wrist is in line with the shoulder. And then from here, bring your left ear down and either stack your knees or bend your right knee, place right foot behind you and just feel the opening, the expansion through your left side chest. And find a big breath in. Exhale, use your right fingertips to lower your belly down. And slide the palms in line with the chest. Tuck your toes, lift the knees, find an inhale. As you exhale, either press to plank or tabletop. Pause for another breath in. And as you exhale, lift your hips up and back. Down dog. Down dogs, again, release any tension out of the neck. Slow breath in, let it feel good. And out. Inhale, your left leg lifts. Good, feel your right hip draw back. Turn on your left glute to lift the leg up and then bend your left heel to your hip. Open your left knee up towards the sky. Try to keep your left shoulder blade dropping. And then bring your knee to your nose. One time, shift forward, two straight arms, push back to three-legged, inhale. Carefully step between the thumbs and drop the back knee. Use blocks if you need. Inhale, just lift your chest up. And as you exhale, hands to the ground, step top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift, lengthen front and back body. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms wide, out and up, reach tall. Exhale, arms wide, hands meet at the heart. Find one breath in. And one breath out, release the arms. Inhale, circle them wide all the way up. And exhale, dive to the ground, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step your left foot back and drop the knee down. Pause on your fingertips or blocks, find a slow breath in. And exhale, step to high plank. If you need to use your knees, totally fine, otherwise shift forward. Lower all the way down to your belly, tops of the feet flat. Inhale up to cobra, low, medium, or high, no tension in the neck. And exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes, lift the knees, inhale. And exhale, push to plank and meet me in down dog. Let's find a deep breath in and out. So you inhale, extend your right leg up towards the sky and just step all the way through to a lunge. Let's drop the back knee down to the ground. This time, inhale your arms up towards the sky, crescent moon. From here, bring your right arm down and back and just find a gentle twist towards the left. Feel your left ribs wrapping around. Firm your outer left hip to stabilize the pelvis. Find another inhale and exhale. Inhale both arms to the sky, reach tall. As you exhale, half splits, you might grab your blocks. Bring your hips over your knee. You can also go back to the heel, that's fine. And then extend your leg long. Either bring your fingertips or your blocks out in front of you so you have something to push into. Bring the shoulder blades down and the collar bones up. Now, this is a tough pose for a lot of people, especially first thing in the morning. So notice if you're hunching and rounding uh, in response to the sensation. See if you can actually lengthen and widen and become open, even though it's uncomfortable. Continue to tack your right hip down, firm your outer left hip in. Let's find another breath and let it go. Inhale forward to your lunge, back knee lifts. As lightly as you can, step top of the mat, forward fold. Let's inhale to chair pose, bend your knees, reach your arms by your ears, sink the weight deep into your heels. So even though my feet are flat, I'm really interested in pushing through my heels. My shins and my thighs move back. Belly drawing off the thigh. Side body's long, but I'm softening my upper traps. So you inhale, rise up one inch, exhale down two inches. Inhale up an inch, exhale two inches. One more time, inhale up an inch, 
Exhale, two inches, two straight legs. Inhale to stand, maybe reach up and back. And then arms wide, draw the belly in, fold towards the ground. Inhale to a halfway left and step your right foot back. Drop your knee down. Again, make sure your front heel's heavy. Inhale your arms to the sky, crescent moon, and vertical twist towards the left. Left arm goes down and back. So right ribs wrapping around, but I'm turning on my outer right butt cheek to stabilize the pelvis so the hips aren't moving with me too much. Let's find one more breath in. And exhale out. Inhale back up, arms high. Hands to blocks or the earth, stretch back, half splits. So you might even take a peek at your pelvis and notice if each side of the, the pelvis are doing something different. See if you can bring your hip points into a similar plane. And then think about going for length to get deeper as opposed to rounding. This might be a good point of the practice to come back to your intention. How do you want to feel? Can you embody that here? As you inhale, come back into your lunge. Right knee lifts and then step back into plank. You can always go to down dog or shift forward. See if you can go halfway down chaturanga. You can use the knees. Inhale, upward facing, knees and thighs lift. Here the arms are straight, but the elbows are not hyperextending. Again, biceps hugging in, shoulder blades down, collarbones up, and then pull your belly in to flip over the toes, down dog. Find a deep breath in and an exhale out. Left leg lifts, inhale. Step through to your lunge, exhale, back knee down. Inhale your arms to the sky. Twist vertically to the left, exhale. Inhale back up to center. Let's go half splits, exhale, maybe you grab your blocks. Find one breath in and a full breath out. Inhale to your lunge, back knee lifts. Step top of the mat, exhale, fold. Bend your knees, chair pose, inhale, and stay for the exhale, maybe go deeper. Inhale up, two straight legs. Hands through heart, draw the navel in, fold to the ground. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, left foot steps, drop the knee. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky and twist to the right, exhale. Inhale, back up, reach taller, half splits, exhale. So find one full breath in and one full breath out. Inhale to your lunge, back knee lifts. Step high plank, exhale. Remember, you can skip these. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, halfway, release all of the air from your lungs and inhale, upward facing, Urdhva Mukha. Downward facing dog, stretch your thighs back. Find a full breath in and an exhale out. Go ahead, let's stretch the right leg up. On your exhale, step all the way through. Let's keep the back knee lifted. You might have a block in your left hand. Reach your right arm towards the sky and find your twist. Now lift your left heel up. Keep it lifted. Bend your front knee to 90. Work your right hip back. Firm your outer left glute. Bring your right hand behind your head. And as you inhale, turn all the way up. Bring your elbow back, your shoulder head back, your head back. And exhale, release, grab your blocks. If you need, stretch back pyramid pose. We've got three breaths here. Make sure your feet are at least hip width to support the width of your pelvis. And then think about, again, going for length to get deeper as opposed to rounding. Inhale to your lunge. Step top of the mat, forward fold. Let's bring the feet to touch, chair pose, arms by your ears, and then hands to your heart, pause. Reach your hips back, get as long as you can through the front of the body, and then turn your chest to the right. Fight for the twist, getting your elbow or your tricep to the outer thigh. So that might mean you use your right hand to get in there, and you'll probably have to round to make that happen. 
And then from there, see if you can push down into your left palm or your left fist, whatever you're using, and lift your sternum up to the thumb. So if you wanna go deeper, make a fist with your left hand. You can always just go prayer palms. Now, left side of your pelvis is gonna drop. It's okay to let your left knee move forward. Let's find one more breath in and stay for the exhale. Come back to chair, arms by your ears, inhale. Exhale, go deep. Inhale up, two straight legs, maybe you arch back and then arms wide, draw the navel in, fold to the ground. Let's inhale, halfway lift and step your right foot back. Bring your feet to hip width, maybe a block under your right hand. Stretch your left arm towards the sky. So feel that your right shoulder blade is drawing down to your right hip. Without losing that, turn your right ribs up. Bring your left hand behind the head. And as you inhale, lift your head into the hand, turn back, open up, and exhale, release, pyramid pose. Three breaths, three slow breaths. Allow your breath to be a reflection of your intention. And even though this might be intense, we can use the breath to slow us down, to keep us calm, to keep us st steady and stable. Inhale to your lunge. Step left foot back to plank, exhale. Inhale, if you wish, shift forward. You can use your knees. Exhale, half or all the way. Inhale to your back bend, maybe upward facing. And exhale, downward facing. Find a deep breath in, heart rate's getting up and a full breath out. Inhale, your left leg lifts. Step through to lunge, exhale. Inhale, your left arm high. Exhale, hand behind the head. Keep your left foot flat as you inhale, turn up, and exhale, release, pyramid pose. Find one breath in and a full breath out. Inhale to your lunge. Exhale, step lightly, top of the mat. Let's bring the feet to touch. Chair pose, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart, move your butt back. Now get as long as you can. Turn your chest to the left. And then you can really just use your belly to wrap the right ribs around. You'll probably have to round your spine a little bit to get there. And either palms touch or make a fist with your right palm, left hand on top. From there, push down into your right palm or fist. Turn your sternum up. Lift the chest to the chin. Again, okay if your right knee pops forward, but feel there's a sense you're still moving your right thigh back. So not a whole lot of pressure to square your hips or your pelvis here. Let's find a deep breath in. And as you exhale, untwist, chair pose, stay low. One more inhale, come up an inch. Exhale down two inches. Let's come up two straight legs. This time we'll find an open back bend. You can do bent elbows or straight. Draw the low belly and arms high, get tall. And then arms wide, fold to the ground, Uttanasana. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale your left foot back. Inhale your right arm high, find your twist. Exhale, hand behind the head. Inhale, turn open. And exhale, pyramid pose. Find one breath in. And an exhale out. Inhale to your lunge. And exhale, step back plank. Shift forward on a breath in. Exhale, half or all the way. Inhale to your back bend. And exhale, pull the belly in, down dog. Find a slow breath in and exhale out. Good, a couple more like that. Notice the shift in your body. If it's becoming a little more workable, a little more moldable, a little more pliable. And notice maybe you're having that same shift and experience for your mind. Let's find one more breath cycle. And just step your right foot through to a lunge. Big step, setting up for warrior one. 
bring your left foot out to the left slightly, maybe an inch or two, and then hop it forward an inch. Drop your left heel flat, so I'm wider than heel to heel. Come on up. I feel like it's easier to come up and then figure out how to distribute the weight. My back toes are turned up maybe to 10 o'clock. And as I bend my front knee, I'm working my right thigh back. Outer left ribs spin forward. Pubic bone is attempting to pull towards the navel. See if you can work to lift your inner left arch the best you can. Bring your hands behind your back. Drop your knuckles, lift your chest, find a big inhale. And exhale, fold to your inner right knee. Allow the head to hang heavy. Feel yourself on both of your feet, pushing equally. Find a slow inhale and stay for the exhale. Inhale, arms by your ears, warrior one. Exhale, hands to your heart, warrior two. Spin your back heel flat, so toes are perpendicular with the side of the mat, right toes dead ahead. And we're either heel to heel or heel to arch, whatever feels best in your groins. Let your pelvis turn slightly towards the top left corner of your mat, just moving with the thighs. Draw your pubic bone to your navel. Square only your chest, your ribs towards the side. So there's this mild twist through the middle spine. Let's find a full breath in and a full breath out. Just two more, slowly in and out of the nose. On your next inhale, extend your front leg, little break for the thigh. Turn your left toes up slightly. Reach your right arm forward as far as you can. Try to keep all of this length in your right side body as you pivot your arms to 12 and six, triangle. So what I want to have you avoid doing is if you're rounding to touch the ground, you've lost the integrity of the pose. The spine is losing um, a lot of uh, connection to flow from bottom to top and top to bottom. So if you need to use a block, I recommend bringing it outside of your front foot. Right thigh is drawing back. Outer left hip spins down. Pubic bone, navel. Lift your navel to the heart. Lift your heart to the chin. And then feel that you're expanding in six directions. So both of your legs, both of your arms, your tail, your crown. Find a big breath in and out. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Instead of just reaching straight back, feel that you're reaching up and back. Your right hip will wanna fly forward. Continue to draw your right hip back. And then I like to look behind me. I feel like that feels really good for my neck, but I can still maintain a lift through the chest. Bend your front knee a little bit more and find another inhale. As you exhale, hands to the ground. Pop your back heel up and move your right foot out towards the right so it's outside of your right hand. Drop your back knee down. You can come down to your forearms. You might bring your forearms to a block. This is fine. Woo. And then make sure that your right heel doesn't feel like it's about to lift up, so it's heavy. If you feel like it here, you can reach your right arm back. Maybe find a twist if you want. You can, and do this slowly, left heel to hip, grab the foot. I find if I do that too fast, my hamstrings cramp. And then as you pull the foot in, turn your left ribs up, roll your right shoulder blade down, and while keeping your right foot flexed, you can open the right knee away from you and just feel this really yummy twist, this back bend, waking up the whole torso. And on your exhale, release your back foot, pull the belly in, and we'll step back down dog. Hips high, thighs back, head, neck soft. Mm. One more side of standing poses. When you're ready, big step forward with your left foot. And then warrior one, step your right foot a little wider, a little bit closer, bring your arms by your ears. Right thigh back, think about squaring the ribs and then pubic bone 
just tries to lift up, tailbone tries to get longer down. And then for just a couple breaths here, see if you can become still. So just notice restlessness in your eyes and your fingers, anywhere else. And allow yourself to arrive in the driver's seat. Let's bring the hands to interlace behind the back. Drop your knuckles, lift your chest, find an inhale. And then as you exhale, draw the belly in, fold over to the inner left knee. Notice if your hips swing out to the left. See if you can move them more to the right, distributing more weight into your right foot. See if you can see your inner right arch actively lifting off of the ground. Let's find one more breath cycle here. And then by way of the low back, release your hands down, big inhale all the way up. And exhale, warrior two, adjust your stance, heel to heel or heel to arch. Again, right toes parallel with the side of the mat, left toes dead ahead. Again, I'm squaring just the ribs to the right side of the room. And feel as much as your left fingertips are reaching forward, your right fingertips are reaching back. As much as your tail and pelvis are dropping, your heart and your head are lifting. And then flip your front palm, reverse. Actually, let's go ahead, extend the front leg. And then reach your left arm forward as far as you can. Let your right hip spin down. And you might even turn your right toes up slightly. Pivot your arms to 12 and 6. Again, no point in rounding to touch the ground. Let's focus on lengthening the spine because that's going to affect our energy level. If we cut off that line of energy in the spine, um, it can really cause us to feel like we're, we're lagging. It's a long spine, think more energy. Keep working your left thigh back. Turn your left ribs up. Again, if you're feeling this in the low back, do more work to anchor your tail to the back heel. And now we're going reverse warrior. Deep bend in your front knee. Again, feel that you're not just reaching back, but you're reaching up and back. And you might take your gaze to the ground behind you, but keep working your left hip back. And then just allow this to be an expression of your most creative self. We think this is such a beautiful pose, so graceful. Let's find another inhale and exhale your hands to the ground. Move your left foot outside of the left hand. And if you want, you can drop the knees down maybe come down to your forearms. If you did on the first side, you can stretch your left arm back, maybe just to a twist. Or maybe you grab your back foot and come into the quad stretch. Again, if you need a block under your right hand, that's okay. Totally fine to let your left knee open. Just keep the foot active, the ankle long as opposed to sickled. And find one more inhale. As you exhale, carefully release your foot and step back down dog. Relax tension from the neck and just feel how your arms uh, are longer, your spine is longer, your legs are longer. You're open, you're spacious, you're alert, you're alive. Find a slow breath in, and as you exhale, drop your knees down and just find a seat. All right, so since we're warm, we'll try going into a deeper hip opener if you're game. Bring your left shin in front of you, 90 degree angle, right ankle on top. So in fire log pose, a lot of times we'll need to bring that bottom left foot forward more. If this isn't working for you, just drop your right shin in front. Totally fine. And then feel free to stay up. You can work on rooting through your thigh. You can fold forward. If you want more sensation, and this is a lot more, you might find a twist, right elbow to right arch, prayer palms or on a fist. And then this is going to take you really deep coming down to the forearms. 
And if you're just trying to fold forward, don't worry about any of this. See if you can slow down your breath, even just by one count. And breath in through the nose. As you exhale, allow yourself to surrender. Slowly inhale up. And as you exhale, unwind the legs. You can extend them out, just shake things out a little bit. And then bend your right knee in front of you. Place your left ankle on top. And we want to keep the feet flexed. These ankle bones um, are just the lower part of your, your leg bone. So when we flex the feet, it brings these bones into the same plane, which is good because they connect to your knee. And feel free to fold forward, maybe twist to the right or forearms down. And slow breaths. Breathe in such a way that everything is okay, you can relax. If you're twisted, let an exhale take you out and slowly come back up. And from here, just begin to extend your legs out in front of you. Widen up your base. You just get the butt out of the way so you can come onto the front of your sit bones, your butt bones. And then place your palms next to you or fingertips down, lift the chest. Try to keep this sense of length as you crawl your fingertips forward. So you might come to here. So this is gonna be an active forward fold and we'll let it go in just a couple breaths. So just like Cobra, shoulder blades down, collarbones up, even here. And if you can add the activation of the feet, stretch your heels away from you, draw your toes in towards your body. And on your next exhale, just let everything go. Let the head hang. Let everything relax. And slowly begin to roll up on your next inhale. Feel free to arch the upper back if you need. And then scoot your hips down. Come onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest and then rock a little side to side. And then grab either the outer edges of your feet for happy babies, or you can just bend your knees and pull your shins in. And if you're in happy babies, think about pulling down and pushing up simultaneously. And slowly release there. Cactus your arms, drop your knees to one direction. Just feel the difference in your spine. Allow an exhale to take you out and switch sides. Gently exhale to come out. Center off your pelvis and just give yourself a giant hug for all the hard work you've done for your body, for your mind, showing up to take care of yourself in all of the ways. And then release into Shavasana. And then just shimmy the shoulder blades under the heart. You can extend your legs wide, maybe arms high. And please stay here as long as you can and enjoy this space. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.